Hi everyone, it's Emmy Award winning journalist Karen Carlson here to show you how to do your makeup in just five minutes. All of us have to be camera ready right now. Uh, so I thought I'd show you what I know and let's just get started, okay? So we're gonna start right here, Bonk. All right, so first of all, when you do your makeup, keep in mind that um, it's very important to put moisturizer on and I can tell you more about these products later if you like what I use. Um, right now, I don't have all of my favorite products, but that's kind of what happens. Um, the reason you put moisturizer on your face is because it's important to keep your skin safe. And when you use products directly on your face without using any sort of moisturizer, then what you end up with is um, uneven skin and swollen or stretched out pores. And then this is very important. A lot of people don't know this, okay? But you need to put under eye cream under your eyes not moisturizer. Moisturizer is meant to bring moisture to the surface, all right? So if you do that and you put moisturizer under your eyes, you're gonna end up with puffy eyes. All right, so after I do that, I'm just gonna take some primer that I use, put it all over my face like this. All right, obviously I have zero makeup on right now, but you know, that's the whole point, right? That's it. I don't have the makeup, the face makeup I want right now, but that's, you know, just what it is. Now, the important thing for me that I've learned in years of being on TV and having makeup on all the time is that I like to do my eyes first. So I just normally, you're supposed to use a brush, but I just use my finger to go ahead and just keep everything nice and even. So you're gonna put like kind of a, a base on your eyeballs here, okay? Simple like that. And then I like to make sure I get my eyebrows done. Okay, so I'm gonna use an a, um, eyebrow brush as well as just um, some eye makeup. It's actually eyeshadow. You can use whatever it is you like. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go do, 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 and make tiny little hairs, or things that look like hairs, I should say. All right, so we're gonna go like that. Okay, so then once we get our eyebrows done like this, then I can actually take a look at some of the eye makeup that I use. And so I put the color right here because it seems to stay better when I use the shine. All right, so I just use my finger like that, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeliner. And that's going to highlight my eyes. So I bring it out a little bit because my eyes are kind of small. Now, right now, I don't have any under eye um, cream, which is a shame, or, or concealer, I guess you would say. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a different color of you know, foundation. Put that under here. It looks a little crazy right now, but it won't in a second. Okay? So, because we're going to get everything blended, all right? And again, because I don't have my favorite, I'm just gonna use this part. I'm gonna use a color that's too dark for my skin, which is this. I'm just gonna kind of mix it together like this a little bit and then see how it looks with my skin. Okay, because you don't wanna change the color of your skin, but you wanna make sure it looks okay. Don't forget your neck, okay? So I know I have a bony neck. I've been told by consultants my whole life that I've got a big old bony neck. And then also your decolletage, like I said, or decollete, depending on how you pronounce it. So I must blend, 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 blend. All right, then it's time for some powder. So after you've put on your foundation, go ahead and grab powder. What I like to use is something that is a little bit lighter than um, what I've done foundation-wise. We don't want a big line where we're gonna have our foreheads and everything else, okay? And again, go all the way down to your neck, my bony, bony neck, and make sure. You can always tell when somebody doesn't know how to do their makeup because they have a an exact line of, of makeup and then their whole neck and everything else is a different color. I'm tired and a little shaky because I've uh, been a little coronavirus-y, but my fever's gone down, so I figure, Hey, if I'm gonna die, I might as well tell everyone my secrets. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and take um, my eye shadow 
And then what you want to do is you want to use a brush and then you actually kind of want to tap it off because otherwise it's going to be dripping onto the rest of your makeup. So now I am mostly done with my eyes for the shadow purposes. Now it's time to put on the mascara, okay? So first, you're going to wanna um, press your eyelashes, one, two. Okay, so right at the root and then a little bit up like that. Then you wanna put on your mascara. So mascara goes on first. Okay, you wanna do one layer. Some people put it underneath their eyes, but for me, I actually like to just um, use my top eyelashes because when I put too much makeup on underneath my eyes, my eyes actually look smaller. And that's something I learned from LA makeup artists. When I used to have my makeup done, they would actually go, the makeup artist would go to the soap operas first and do their makeup, and then they would come and do our makeup. Then I'm gonna take some blush. Now I'm gonna use the same brush that I used before. And what I wanna do first is do a contour, all right? So I'm gonna squish my brush like this. Go like this, take the makeup, okay? And then go underneath. So if you go like this and you see exactly where your cheekbone is, you wanna kind of dab it on up into here. And again, the whole part of everything is blending. Now that is gonna be kind of my undertone of my makeup, all right? And then I have a different color, which is um, a little bit brighter, okay? We'll shake it off a little bit brighter and somewhat sparkly. So it gives me a good illusion of nice cheekbones. Now I'm actually going to um, put on some lipstick. Most people will tell you you need to put it on with a brush, but um, I'm, if you're in a hurry, I just go ahead and put it on and I'm kind of a nerd, but I like to match what I'm wearing lipstick wise with everything else. Okay, so now I'm almost done. I just wanna kind of brush up what I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these eye, this eye um, brow stuff and go like this a little bit. And go like this a little bit. All right, all right. Now if you decide you wanna go ahead and put on eyelashes, which I often do, um, especially because you can't see anybody's face nowadays, you want to take your eyelash, kind of trim it a little bit around the sides. Stick it on there, like that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Once this dries, it's going to look a lot better. And then some people will actually go afterwards and curl their lashes as well as the rest. So then after that, you just grab a suit jacket. Hello, where's my suit jacket? Hello, Jordan, where's my suit jacket? <laughs> my child ran off with my jacket. This is something that happens. It was hanging right what? here. The How oven. am I supposed to know? Oh, it's right over there. Can you grab that for mommy? Thank you. Okay. So then after you're done with all of your makeup, I just take a finishing spray like this. There you go. Thank you. Take a finishing spray I'm like that. I'm I pretty much look camera ready. You throw on a jacket like this. Do, 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 do. And you are ready to be on TV. So if you would like to learn more about the tricks and trades of uh, how to look good when you're working from home, which all of us have to do now, of course, please subscribe to my channel. We will go ahead and show you other tricks as well, in addition to best practices, how people can see what you're saying, how you can understand what people are saying, and look your best even when you feel your worst. I'm Karen Carlson. Uh, my crazy daughter here. Hi. Hi. Okay, she needs her hair brushed, but that's a different story. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we will get you more information soon. Ow. Comment below, and Please we'll talk soon. Pulling my hair. Yeah, pulling your hair. We do what we can. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and um, stay safe.